Hello, my name is Josh Mullen, and today I'll be talking to you about my sports development in action video. As you can see, I'm joined by Lee Walker, who is a member of staff at Preston North End of the community, and that's where I will be doing my placement at. Lee will be listening in and may ask some questions at the end. Firstly, an introduction of what this presentation will consist of. During this presentation, I will be demonstrating my strong knowledge of what Preston North End of the community does. I'll be providing a brief overview of what I anticipate my places to be like and also discussing how their work fits in with the local and national strategies. So starting with a background on my placement, the Trust's main purpose is to take Preston North End Football Club into the local community and deliver objectives around sports participation, education, health and social inclusion using the power of football and a range of multi-sports. Preston North End pride themselves on being a family orientated club and a community team play a key part in that to keep a strong reputation up. The community team also are responsible for organising events around the first team and make sure they, they go into the community and make sure that everyone's happy and also that they're good role models. Working in Preston and surrounding areas, the Trust aims to put Preston North End at the heart of its community. The Community and Education Trust is a self financed department of the football club and generates funds by working with partners such as the EFL, the Premier League Charitable Fund, Sport England, the Big Lottery Fund and the Football Foundation. They also raise money through schoolwork, holiday camps and generous donations from businesses and, and fundraisers. Altogether, the community team are a vibrant, energetic and passionate team filled with experience. Staff qualifications include UEFA standard coaches, primary QTS teachers, post-16 PGCE teachers, a variety of university degrees and a range of other qualifications. What I will be doing during my placement experience. One area I will be focusing on is delivering sessions in school. Preston North End and the Community and Education Trust work closely with local primary schools to offer a range of services to young people in order to improve sports participation, education and more. They have a mix of QTS teaching staff and FA licensed coaches that have experience working with it all ages and abilities. All staff hold relevant qualifications including child protection and enhanced CRB and DEBS clearances, ensuring they can lead a group of young people in whatever activity that school requires. The p and &E School Sports Programme fits in with the national curriculum and meets the criteria, criteria required for the sports premium funding. Another activity I may be doing is women's football. Preston North End feel it's vital important to aid participation and development in women's football so they can run a variety of programmes to help achieve these goals. One programme they run is the Female Football Development Programme that mainly targets age groups from 14 to 16 year olds that requires them to get into the open age. They also run a turn up and play futsal session. This is for any women that are interested in the sport and it's just turn up and have fun. They also offer a girls development centre. Preston North End Coaches hosts girls for this session for girls aged 7 to 14 year olds. They welcome girls with all abilities to come down, make new friends and progress their football skills. Another activity I may be doing is walking football. Walking football is a slowly paced version of the beautiful game aimed at over 50s and has recently added to the timetable for Preston North End and the community coaches and staff to run. I may also be required to work at soccer schools. This is delivered by the PE Community and Education Team for children aged from 5 to 14 year olds to come and play non football, non stop football in action. We also offer an activity zone. This is an alternative to football, but with the same enjoyment, the kids kept busy with multi sports, arts and crafts, and much more. I may be required to also run disability sessions. As well as delivering sessions in school, the PE Community and Education Team also focusing on children of all ages that have a disability. Working alongside local schools such as Tom Finney, the Community Football Club enjoy offering specific sessions to cater for every child's needs. Why the placement experience will benefit me? So delivering sessions in school will, de will develop my confidence as I've already got some previous experience in delivering sessions in school, this placement will offer me the opportunity to gain more confidence with dealing with a range of individuals. Also, I'll be able to try something new. The Female Football Development Programme will offer me the chance to cope girls just on their own. At 
previously had experienced coaching girls but mixed with boys. I've never had the opportunity to run a girls session just on their own, so that means to try something new for me and it will offer me a new challenge. Walking football. Walking football will help me develop my communication skills. This is one specific area of my coaching characteristic I would love to improve. This placement experience is likely to help me do that as I'll be able to communicate with a range of different people. It's important that when I'm a coach I understand that I need to communicate differently to children in schools and also to adults who are older than me when I'm running walking football sessions. Finally, I'll be able to put my coaching badges that I've previously got to good use. This will be through disability sessions. I've recently achieved my coaching disabled in sport coaching bag and I've yet to have done any coaching to disabled athletes. The main part, part of the highlight of the course for me was that I focused on just how many creative ways there are to make coaching accessible to disabled people. And now I'm going to talk about a few local strategies that are in place in the Preston area. So the first one is the Preston strategy. This is physical activity and sports strategy it was introduced in 2015 and is set in place until 2020. Their slogan is more people, more active, more often in more places. The strategy aims are to encourage and inspire more people to get involved in sport. They will try to increase levels of physical activity among the people of Preston by tackling levels of inactivity by removing barriers and encouraging those residents currently doing nothing to do something to achieve at least 30 minutes of physical activity a week. They'll try to increase levels of walking and running. They'll increase sporting opportunities for all by nurturing and developing talent and supporting grassroots provision. They'll provide opportunities for communities to participate in physical activity. This will help to reduce social inclusion across all population groups, including gender, age, ethnicity, disability, income and education. And when looking at the public health framework, you can see that 53% of the people of the adult population are meeting the guidance level of being active, which is 150 minutes of exercise per week. But you can also see that 17% of the adult population are categorised into a low activity group, which is just 30 to 149 minutes a week. And you can see that there's a big percentage of this 30% of the adult population are classes in active group, which is just 0 to 29 minutes of exercise per week. For children aged 5 to 15 years, the government guidance is 420 minutes of exercise per week. And currently there's only 34% of children that are meeting that guidance in the Preston area. A further local strategy is the Lancashire Sport. Lancashire Sport partnership strategy is from 2013 to 2017. Their slogan is Grow, Retain and Improve. Lancashire Sport Partnership aims to increase and sustain participation in and widen access to sport and physical activity around the county. As a county sport partnership, they are funded by Sport England, also funded by agencies to deliver specific programmes on their behalf, local government and by private sponsorship. County sports partnership are an integral part of the government's drive to develop a single sports delivery system across England and Lancashire Sport. Are the, uh, and Lancashire Sport are the key bridge between local and regional networks. Through their work, they, they are trying to enable 55,000 people to be active by 2017 around Lancashire. Their partners all share the same vision and understand the importance of sport in changing lives. They are all committed to working together to increase the number of people participating in sport and physical activity across Lancashire. Their partners include the local government, sport government bodies, the police, the education, Health Centre, volunteering and media partners. Now on to the national strategies. One national strategy is Sports England. Their slogan is Towards an Active Nation. This strategy runs from 2016 to 2021. They have a vision and want everyone in England, regardless of age, background, level of ability, to feel and be able to engage in sport and physical activity. Some will be young, fit and talented, but the majority won't. They need a sports sector that welcomes everyone, meets their needs, treats them as individuals and values them as customers. They've created a new investment programme focusing on tackling inactivity, children and young people, as a person's attitude to sport is shaped by their experiences as a child. They're looking to take sport and activity to the mass market as millions of people drop in and out of sport a year. Volunteers, as volunteers play a special role in sport, with, without them, grassroots sport will ground to a halt. They look to focus on local delivery, where people live and work plays a big part in what they choose to do. They're looking at facilities.
facilities, the places where people play sport have a big impact on their experience and the likelihood they will come back and play regularly. To look at sport and finally to support the sports call market. The final national strategy that's in place is the government has a strategy. They have a strategy in place which is known as Sport in Future, a new strategy for an active nation. This new strategy focuses on the following physical well being, mental well being, individual development, social and community development, and then economic development. The strategy has three areas they would like to maximise in the future. One area is maximising international and domestic sports in success and the impact of major events. More people from every background regularly and meaningfully taking part in sport and physical activity, volunteering and experiencing live sport. They also look to ma maximise a more productive, sustainable and responsible sports sector. The strategy also has three actions in place. They are actions that meet the needs of the elite and professional system and deliver successful major and sporting events. We also have actions that meet the needs of the customer and enable them to engage with sport and physical activity. And the final action is that, that strengthen the sports sector and make it more effective. How Preston North End's work fits in with both the local and the national strategies. Preston North End and the community do offer many activities and sessions that look to achieve both the local and national plans in sport. One example of this is the Premier League Kicks programme. Premier League's Kick Snoop programme is a new programme that has been introduced to Preston North End. This is where young people throughout Preston will be offered free football and free match tickets. The session will provide young people with the opportunity to use football as an escapism from daily challenges in a safe and welcoming environment. This looks to reduce crime as well. Walking football. This is another way Preston North End focuses on meeting the, the national and local strategies. Walking football. This sport is designed to help people keep fit an active lifestyle, despite their age, as well as getting those back playing football who have stopped due, due to injuries. It is a non-contact sport, and anyone who sprints, jogs, or runs with the ball will be penalised with a free kick. This is looking to get everyone involved, no matter what their age, for over 50s. Walking football is a good example of how Preston North End and the community have introduced a new sport to the schedule to meet the needs set by local bodies such as Lancashire Sport and Preston Council, and also national sport, national bodies such as Sport England and the government. Finally, women football only sessions. Mel Brown, who is the Women and Girls Football Development Officer at Preston North End, helps to overlook and also run the number of female activities in the area to help achieve the targets set by local and national strategies to try and get as many girls involved in the sport. So, on to conclusion. During this presentation, I've demonstrated my strong knowledge of what Preston North End within the community does. I've provided an overview of what I anticipate my work to be like and also how their work fits in with both the local and national sports strategies. And there are some references. Thank you for listening, Lee. Do you have any questions? Um, if you were to come into the community and do the work, uh, have you got any fresh ideas that you'd like to offer to the community? Um, well, one idea that could be offered is that girls currently just do football. One area you could focus on and maybe do more sports or rugby or something different. It's not every girl, I know we're a football club, but not every girl likes football, so maybe and maybe have some role models in to try and attract female role models in to try to attract girls to come and join. Yeah. Uh, and once you've completed your placement, uh, is there anything you'd like to do in the near future? Uh, one thing at Preston North End I would like to do is the NCS programme. This programme is for 16 to 18 year olds, yeah? yeah? And they go out and it'll be a good experience for me to get my seat, put on my CV, but also the 16 to 18 year olds go out and work at team bonding sessions, teamwork in the outdoors and do 